Hi, this is Steve. Welcome back to my channel, Scale Model Kit Review. In this video, I build the Agora models, build the Terminator T800. I am on pack number seven. Join me, will you? Plasma rifle in the 40 watt range. Uzi 9 millimeter. I'll be back. So with pack number seven, we begin with stages 61 through 70. And this is where I start to begin to work on the lower right leg and the foot along with some of the toes. So if you haven't done so already, head over to agoramodels.com and subscribe to this Terminator today. It's fantastic and it is very impressive. So we're gonna make great progress here. I have all the parts on hand, so I hope to have this done very soon. And if you haven't noticed already, I have been building the Jaguar E-Type on my channel from Agora Models. And I also completed recently the uh, Mustang Super Snake, uh, which is fantastic. That was beautiful. It turned out really nice. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's look at the contents of pack seven. And as you can see, I received the magazine for pack seven, but this is also downloadable on their website fantastic there and we received 10 parts packs in this shipment so I'll go ahead and go through each one of these in a real quick video just to review what came with this pack I like to do that because it's kind of like a historical thing so that way anyone can go there and check out to see what actually comes in each pack I'll be right back and here's five of those packs, pack 61 through 65. 61 is building the knee joint. That's this one here. 62 is fitting the knee cap and knee joint. 63, starting work on the lower right leg. 64, adding another part to the lower right leg. And 65, adding another part to the lower right leg. And 65 is protected. Let's look to see what's inside here. Got some screws and a very large piece of the right lower leg. Continuing on here, we received uh, stage 66, which is uh, another part for the lower right leg. Stage 67, again, lower right leg parts. Stage 68, fitting the ankle joint to the right leg. 69. Adding the heel detail and assembling the foot parts. And then lastly for pack seven, assemble two more elements of the right foot. Here's a parts pack for stage 61, which is assembling the right knee joint and associated tendon. And I'll go ahead and take these parts out. We'll get a closer look. Be right back. And here's a close-up of those parts. Everything here is plastic, so we received the knee joint itself. And it's very nice, has a very good finish to it. And the tendon, which is plastic, like I was saying, that's very nice. And of course, these uh, joint center parts, they uh, are supposed to give you some fr a friction effect. And two screws, they're PM3 by 12 millimeter screws. And here's a grouping of tools you may need for this build. I have three different sizes of screwdrivers. I have a PH1, a PHO, and a PHOO screwdriver. Some super glue, uh, some tweezers, X-Acto knife, and a good uh, set of sprue cutters. Going along with the super glue, you may want to use some accelerator. So this will accelerate the super glue drying process. So for stage 61, we're actually going to glue these uh, parts here that give us a, a friction effect for the joints and just going to put some super glue on the areas that they go into. And I 
that should just line up on those tabs. There we go. Same thing on the other side. There we go. And I don't think I need to use any accelerator on this. That, that will have time to dry. Next, uh, we'll put uh, one of the tendons on. And that's simply going to go down right there. And you can see there's some threads there that this will go down onto. And I'm using a PHO screwdriver. The PH1 is too large for this. But should thread right in. And that's real important that that be able to rotate like that. Just tighten it down a little more. Perfect. And that's all we do with stage 61. Let's head over and do stage 62. And here's the parts pack for stage 62. We're going to be fitting the kneecap and knee joint. That's what that looks like there. I'll take these out. We'll get a closer look. Here's a close-up of those parts. So we received the knee joint itself and it's made of plastic. Very nice. And the outer kneecap, plastic. And the inner kneecap, also plastic. Plus one of those uh, friction bushings. And the screws we received, we received four PM three by six millimeter and two PM three by 12 millimeter Allen screws. Okay, the first thing we do is we glue in this friction washer here and uh, that's going to glue into that area there. We're going to use our super glue on that again and just going to put some super glue in all the areas there. And uh, really glad to be back on this build. It's been a while. I've been away from it. Um, a lot of things have happened in my life, but uh, I'm getting caught up again, thank goodness. And I'm retired now, so that makes it even better. I thought I would be less busy being retired, but I'm, I'm actually more busy being retired. So that's in there. I don't think I, I need any accelerator on there, so we'll be good on that. Now we're being over our knee part, and our knee parts, I'm going to put super glue there and there. And we're going to squeeze that together just like that. That's how that looks. That looks great. Now we're going to bring over our part that we used in uh, the previous stage, stage 61. And this is going to glue to that. So we'll put a little bit of glue here. And some here. All right. And that's just going to go together. Just like that. And that's how that looks. That looks great. Now, just like how we have it set up here, we're going to take our bottom piece that we put our friction thing into, and we're going to fit this from underneath. So we put the flat edge of this up against the kneecap, that you can see there, and we're going to put in uh, four of those, or three of those, PM3 six millimeter screws, just like that. Okay, that looks great. All right, that looks great. Now we'll go ahead and do uh, step 10. I need to bring uh, 
the Terminator over so we can get this installed. Alright, so I brought over uh, the Terminator and this is his right leg and we're going to attach the knee joint to his right leg. But we also need to have these parts here. This came from stage 59. This is the going to attach the knee to the to the leg. And then the other one came from stage 60 and that's this right here. Plus we're going to use our, our uh, screw that we received in this issue to screw it all together. So what we do here is we insert the tendon into this and then slide it in. Okay. Of course you want to have your knee facing the outside. This is the front of the leg right here. And then we will put the this one right here goes underneath and it will fit should fit right into um, the opening for it has this like little teardrop that's going to go in on from the bottom. And that's there just like that. And then our next one, it has the, the square cutout that's going to line up with that. And that's going to fall right in and then we'll secure it. So we got our knee installed now and that's great less tension and then there we go great that's how that works and that completes stage 62 let's head over and do stage 63 and here's the parts pack for stage 63 we're going to start working on the lower right leg I'll go ahead and take these out we'll get a closer look. And here they are. This is the lower right leg part and it's made of plastic. Very nice there. And the uh, sleeve for the lower right leg part and then the leg part itself. Everything here is made of plastic. So you can see how that looks there. And we received two 3 by 8 millimeter screws. Alright, so we're going to take our leg part and the first thing we do here is, uh, I'll just kind of explain here what's going on with this. There's a ridge that runs along here and there's a tab here. We're actually going to install this onto that. We're going to slide it on and it has a notch here at the very end and it also has, has the uh, trench to follow that ridge. We need to put some super glue where this is going to mount to on the end. So. and that's perfect there. We'll slide this down just like that. That should be good. Now in this case I probably need to use some accelerator. Capillary action will put it right in place where it needs to go. That's good there. Now we're going to take the other part here and we're going to slide this. There's four notches here on this part here on the, of the leg. And you want to find the one that has the little notch on top there. That's going to line right up with that. Right, the three by eight millimeter screw to hold that all in place. And that's how that looks there. That looks great. That's all we do with this stage. Let's go to stage 64. Here's the parts pack for stage 64. We're adding another part to the lower right leg. I'll take these out, we'll get a closer look. So here's a close up of all these parts. Everything here is uh, plastic. So this is the shin piece. That's very nice. Lower leg part. We have a screw housing that looks to be metal. And the screws we have, we have two KM 2x16mm two screws. 
Okay, so for now we're not going to use this little shin piece. I'm going to put that aside. Now we're going to install this leg part to this uh, leg area and it's going to go just right to the immediate left of this leg and it's going to go just like that. The way this works is we're, we got this screw insert or sleeve, screw sleeve as they call it and that's going to go into that sleeve and it's going to go in just like that and then we're going to screw it in they say they want it to leave it loose so that's going to leave it loose just like that and that looks great and that's all we do with stage 64 let's go to stage 65 Here's stage 65 parts. Once again, we're adding another part to the lower right leg. I'll take this out, we'll get a closer look. Okay, here's a close up of those parts. And lower right leg casing, that's made of plastic. It's very nice there. And once again, another leg part. A screw housing, and we receive two two by 16 millimeter KM screws and two PM two by eight millimeter screws. For stage 65, we're gonna put on another piece of leg part here and it's gonna go on the opposite side that the other one that we just did in 64. Same thing, we're gonna put our KM screw into this, the, what is it, the three by, two by 16 millimeter screw into that. We're gonna run that through there and screw that down. That's good there. Okay, so we turn it over so we have this notch on top and we have our casing, they call it. And you can see how it's gonna slide over the top of that where the notch is. There's a notch here and you can see the holes will line up. go and you can see how that looks there looks good should be flush shin piece and that's going to mount down right on top of this right here right here and slide this in and snap everything down there we go we'll let that sit a little bit and everything is dried so definitely worth super gluing that in place and that there now we're going to put our uh, PM 3x8 screw into this and that should lock everything in place there. And that completes stage 65. Let's go to stage 66. Here's parts pack for stage 66. We're adding more parts to the lower right leg. I'll go ahead and take these out and we'll get a closer look. And here's a close-up of those parts. We received two caps for the lower left leg. We also received the leg part itself. They call this details for the leg part also. We're gonna have to cut those off. And the screws we received are two PM 3 by 12 millimeter and two KM 2 by 16 millimeter screws, plus some M3 washers, spring washers. So we're going to put these caps on this leg part and you'll notice with these caps you have one that's taller than the other and also on the leg part you'll see it's kind of uh, it's squared off right there and kind of rounded off on that end so this, the shorter one is going on this end here and it's simply
press fits on. There we go. And lastly, it's going to go right there. We have the round part. It's going to go right in the end there, just like that. Same thing. Take our 2x16 screw. We're going to put that through and right into there. Okay, and it's going to screw in. There we go. Everything is loose, and that's how that works. Next, we got to take these two parts, we got to cut them off. Need some good sprue cutters here for this. And they're going to insert into these channels here. We need to super glue them. And that one goes there. So they only go on one way. Perfect. I got some super glue on my finger, so it left a mark there. But I'll show you how to get rid of that. And that's this right here, debonding. In case you get your fingers stuck together, you always want to have super glue debonder. Highly recommend. So we'll just take a little bit of that and wipe it off. Perfect. With debonder, you want to be careful you don't get it on a painted surface because they can definitely uh, take the paint off. All right, now we're going to attach this to our Terminator. I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. We're going to do the last few steps. We're going to install our lower leg below the knee there and it's going to insert just like that and we're going to put our screw and spring washer through that hole there to lock it all in. So I'll go ahead and do that. Our screw which is a uh, PM 3x12 and we'll put our lock washer on that. And it's going to go right in. Screwing that down. I know you can't see it. And there we go. It's all installed nice and secure. And that's all we do with stage 66. That was a lot of fun. Really coming along with this leg. Let's do stage 67. And here's the parts pack for stage 67, where we will continue to work on the right leg. We're actually going to start on the foot. So these are the parts for that, the ankle area. I'll take these out and I'll be right back. And here's a close-up of those parts. They're all plastic. And these are the ball joint area. And they call it the ankle joint, upper and lower. And we have these ball joints themselves. We have two types of screws. We have four PB 1.7 by 6 millimeter screw and three PB 2 by 6 millimeter screw. All right, so the first thing we do is we cut these off their tree. Use some good sprue cutters here. You can use an X-Acto knife if you like. But and we're going to attach those to the, looks like the lower ankle. And the lower ankle has three spots here. They are keyed. So you have a keyway. Just like that. We're going to put in these uh, black 1.7 by 6 millimeter into each of those. Okay. Don't want to over tighten those because you are going in the plastic and they could strip. So that looks good there. Now we'll bring over our other part. 
We're going to sandwich these together here. Okay. And we put two screws into this, and they're right there and right there. These are the PB 2x6 millimeter screws. And that's how that looks there. It looks great. And that's all we do with stage 67. Looks good. Let's go ahead and start on stage 68. And here's the parts pack for stage 68. We'll be fitting the ankle joint to the right leg. And that's what that looks like there. I'll take these out. We'll get a closer look. Okay, here's a close-up of those parts and everything's attached to sprue trees here. These are the leg lower connectors. There's two of them and there's a longer one there also. And then we also have an ankle ball joint and a ankle socket. So those are also will need to be removed. And we also have rubber washers. A just a plain washer. It's not actually numbered. And we received two. 1 by 7, 1.7 by 6 millimeter screw, and 3 PWM 2 by 5 millimeter screws. First thing I'll go ahead and do is cut all these off. The other tree here. And there they all are. Two are uh, leg connectors and they have like a little end on them like that. We're going to put this rubber washer on the end and same with that one. There we go. And now we have these PWM 2x5 millimeter screws. They're black, and we're going to screw those on, secure them in place. Very good. That's how they both look there. We're going to be attaching this to the terminator leg. Now we'll take our two parts here that we uh, took apart, the ankle joint parts, and we need to slide this into that socket and we'll have to press down firmly on it to do it to hear it click. We're going to line this hole up with that hole. That's going to slide in just like that. We're going to tape a PB 1.7 by 6 millimeter screw and put that in. That's good there. And we have three of the tendons here, so the two longer ones get the ones with the bushings. So this, those are going to go in there, and then this one here slides in there, just like that. That's going to slide on like this. There's a flat edge, so we're going to put that on the, up against the flat edge there. Okay, put a washer on our screw here, our PM 3x8 screw, and we're going to screw that down. Okay, that's good there. So making sure this is positioned right and now we can attach our tendons to this and the last one and that completes stage 68 everything moves fine there looks great let's go to stage 69 
Here's our parts pack for stage 69. We're adding the heel detail and assembling the foot parts. So I'll take these out and I'll be right back. Here's a close-up of those parts. This is the heel detail, both sides of it made of plastic. And we have uh, the foot joint pins, much like the finger pins that we did earlier, along with the bushings for those, the Teflon bushings. We also received the uh, foot part marked one. And that's both of these. These are both marked one. The toe joint, the toe itself, and these would be the uh, grub screws, as they call them. We use uh, our hex head tool for that. And then the screws we received are the two PB two by six millimeter screws. We'll take and cut these off here. We'll go ahead and uh, install our socket on the heel here. And this part here uh, with the wide opening here on the bottom inserts into the back side like that and then the other side we'll sandwich up against it and we'll put our 2x6 our PB 2x6 millimeter screw into that that looks great now we're going to work on our foot all right so expert tip here uh, on these uh, foot parts and note that the bars that form the foot are carefully shaped they must be put together the right way around to ensure the foot has the proper shape. Examine the photographs carefully as you work through the steps. So we can see here we have the larger end and the smaller end and then that's how that looks there. Let's get started on this. So we want to make sure we put this on correctly and if you follow my instructions here you, know, you should be fine. So if you look here we have the larger end, smaller end, but look how it's shaped. Okay. You definitely want to have it in this direction and not the other way around. Really will only work one way because here's your threads for the screw, the grub screw, are on this side. Okay, So we're going to take our, our uh, joint mechanism, we're going to put that in there, and we're going to put our grub screw through that. Okay, Just like that. And that's how that looks. Next same thing we want the longer end shorter end that's going to insert onto this did you get one of our pins off okay gonna insert that in and push that in it needs to be flush and that's flush there so that looks good so same thing we're going to insert this into here cut off one of our pins insert it into a sleeve just like that and we're going to insert that into this That is his toe. And that's flush there. That looks good. And that's all we do with stage 69.
Let's go to stage 70, the final stage for pack 7. And here's pack 70. We're going to assemble two more elements of the right foot, meaning two more toes. I'll take these out. We'll get a closer look. All right, here's a close-up of those parts. Everything here is metal. We received three grub screws and two elements of the toes. Um, that's these right here and the joints there along with the toe ends and the Teflon washers. We'll need to get our caps from the previous stage 69 and we'll begin okay so just like before we're going to take this uh, toe element here making sure that it's uh, positioned like the other one was this one's a little more straighter but uh, looks good there we're going to put uh, that in like that we're going to put our grub screw into it. And we'll screw that down. Okay. And that's a three. So I assume three and three go together. Okay, so. going to go on like that and I already put my Teflon onto the tab squeeze that together that's good and we'll insert the toe in there Another pin, and we'll lock that in. That's good. Okay, I'll go ahead and do number two, and I'll be right back. And that completes stage 70. I had a blast doing this, and putting these uh, these feet together aren't too bad at all. I enjoyed it very much. So stay tuned for pack number eight coming up soon. And this is a real beauty. We have finally completed pack seven and it turned out very nice. We did the lower right leg here and part of the ankle and toes. Uh, toes we didn't attach yet, but that's coming in the next pack. And this is fantastic. If you haven't done so already, head over to Aguara Models and get yourself a copy of this. This is half scale and it's huge. Gives you a really nice stand and a base for this, a lighted base. And of course it has a lot of electronics inside of it. So I've, I've just been enjoying this immensely. So if you haven't uh, done so already, head over there and subscribe to this. Um, if you like my content, please uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell for all video upload notifications. So stay tuned for pack eight. Happy modeling everybody and take care.